So a couple of things, because people have asked questions. What was the actual raw increase? Raw did not go from two hundred seventy million to five hundred million. The, I mean, well, it did, but we're talking the the increase involves the overseas viewership of the show, which is worth uh, I don't even know what. But back in the day, it was probably if if Raw was worth a hundred million in the U.S., it was worth fifty million overseas, and the overseas deals were separate. Well, now they're all going to be one. So the actual increase for Raw here in this country was up maybe 30 to 50%. So it was not nearly doubled. But the entire package, including what they normally would get paid here in the U.S., but also everything overseas, it's all together in this bundle. So if you if you take the, the bundle away, it would be about a uh, uh, 30 to 50% increase, I think, depending on who you, uh, who you ask. Stock price at this moment is uh, $90.31, up $12.90 a share, which is up 16.66%. So if you bought a bunch of WWE stock yesterday, cash out now, brother. Ratings? Doesn't really work that way, but yeah. So, uh, you can. Hey, well. if I if I bought 1,000 shares at, uh, at 80 bucks or $78 yesterday, and uh, then it's at ninety thirty. Well, I could cash out right now, and I would make a lot of money. Can we try and do math? No. <laughs> Have my broker do it. Ratings. Mm. People are like, oh, less rate. No, there will be ratings. Yeah. Sorry. Netflix audience, 247 million subscribers, uh, which is uh, you know way more than USA Network. You know what the interesting thing about cable. the ratings thing is? is Before we get that- to that, hold on. Okay. The actual Netflix Netflix audience is actually right now at this exact second, two hundred forty six million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Because uh, ironically, I quit Netflix yesterday. Huh? Well, I did the exact opposite. I should have bought a bunch of WWE stock yesterday, but then I I uh, not only didn't do that, but then I I now I got to buy Netflix again. But I guess I can wait several months. Yeah. About 70 million in the U.S., by the way, as far as the uh, number of people that have Netflix. Yeah, so 20. not substantially different from USA, TBS, TNT, et cetera. It's about 23. exactly the same, actually. 23 million subscribers to its advertising tier, which is what this thing is going to be pushed towards. And that's what they're trying to push is, hey, you know, jump on here because, we, we you know, we want you to, to see some ads. And for those people who aren't paying for ads... It's also come out from what Alex Sherman of CNBC reported. You're going to have a fight TV type of atmosphere going on. Now, we'll see if that's the case, because as we've seen during premium live events, the pay-per-views where some people are seeing commercials on Peacock, if you decide to not pay, you know, if you decide to have ad free, then you're seeing, you know, extended video promos for Lashley or whoever it would be. So we'll see if they decide to go to their own style of commercial or if they decide to hold on the matches and we're going to actually have, you know, discussion over long headlocks and battles. Bro, outside they're going to the do like it's fight TV. I'll bet you anything. They do the exact same thing they do on Peacock where if you don't pay for the ad thing, whatever, if you have to see ads, you're going to see commercials. And if you don't, you're going to see video packages for Bobby Just Lashley, yep. and uh, and this and that for uh, for three and a half minutes in between. Hey, look, and one thing I want to mention about the WWE Network, you said, you know, earlier on, there's going to be a lame duck period here as it stands right now. When it comes to two months in 2025, to me, you put it on the network because that's NBC Universal. They're paying a billion dollars for it, at least they were at one point. That deal is going to be up in March of 2026, and, you know, that's the only other chip that you have right now to sell off. And NBC, Universal is going to want to hold on to it. It's going to be a big boost for them if Raw comes over and people have to watch it on the network for eight weeks. They're going to like that, and... Nick Khan is going to love whatever numbers, you know, they happen to get for that because they're going to want to continue to try to sell this brand to somebody because somebody's going to have to take on the network. And, 
right now, I mean, when it comes to Peacock or any of these other streaming services, what a what a huge chip this is for WWE to now have the possibility of Netflix picking this up. This is the same thing for the UFC on the other side of TKO. Now, for if you're ESPN, you're looking at this, if you're Disney and looking at this and going, okay, now they really are serious about getting into this business because they have. You know, so now are we going to have to pony up a lot more for these UFC shows? Because, again, if they decide they want to take on the network and they look at it as a good deal, what's to maybe stop them from thinking the same thing about the UFC and wanting to bring them on board and wanting to do what ESPN is doing and charging and trying to supplement income that way with pay-per-views? So this all can op is opening the door now, you know, it's been a lot of speculation, but now this really has opened the door to a new future. A new future, by the way, where you have a lot of older wrestling fans that stabilize the product. When you look at what the average age is for wrestling fans, it's still pretty high up there. You know, that's why the 18 to 49 is so important, because you want to build them young. But now as you move to streaming, where you have a lot of people... They go, I don't want to buy this, or I'm not going to invest in this, or it's not that big of a deal to me. You know, it's going to be interesting to see well, how there's many people a, they actually lose when it gets right down I, to it for all. I would bet not many, because the uh, the demos have shifted in the last year. There's a lot less 50-plus uh, watching watching WWE of late, and there's a lot more 18 to uh, 49. Yeah. And even even, like, listen, even older people, they got Netflix. I mean, they're more likely to have Netflix and Am than watching Amazon Prime Video, but uh, eh, you know, I'd argue I that think when it comes it's to be the wrestling right. fan, I would like this for somebody to do some research on that because you see how set in in their ways that a lot of wrestling fans have been, and we know that they can be very set in their ways that way. At least the ones that Nielsen and groups like that have researched. So. I wonder about a little bit about that when it comes, but the bottom line is at the end of the day, this is great for for pushing 18 to 49 numbers, and it's going to be probably pretty wonderful at the end of the day for Netflix as far as, again, what they're able to do with this thing globally in the next couple of years. person wants to know if they're going to provide 4K live streaming. It doesn't matter unless it's filmed in 4K. If they don't upgrade everything to 4K cameras, you could have an 8K TV. You could stream an 8K. It yeah. doesn't matter. I have if a you've 4K got a, TV. You got a cathode ray television. You ain't watching 1080p raw. Sorry. You know, it, it can make. Sometimes it makes things look sharper. The picture. There's things that you know. Yeah, it does look better even if you're watching regularly. But I have a 4K TV. I have almost nothing that comes on in 4K other than things that come with, like, the Roku channel and, and stuff like that. Like, the there's one football game, the Detroit game, Fox, is in 4K. For the most part, nothing else is. It's only a thing here or there that actually is. So I think for WWE, like, that is a long way off. Let other people do it first. It says, has uh, Netflix done live programming before? I think they've started within the last couple of months. But uh, they got time. They I got time. They did they technically That's... do Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock live? Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like Chris Rock, I think they may have. But again, it's not the same The Chris thing Rock special was live. Okay. Hey, at the end of the day, you know, everybody's talking about, uh, you know, HBO Max and AEW. And, you know, they were expecting, you know, the pay-per-views to be there or whatever. And I said, well, they don't have the, uh, the capacity. But, wow, well, I've seen live stuff on there. That's not a live pay-per-view that you pay for. They're working on that, and it very well may be done within a very short period of time. Yeah. And here, but the ability to do what they want to do is not there yet. Yes, they can do other things that are similar, but not what they want to do, which is you buy a pay-per-view and stream it on Max. You can't make somebody move as fast as you want them to move. Like WWE... You know, the MLB and the NHL, or was it MLB, BAM networks that, that came up and, and have perfected, you know, perfected a lot of this stuff. You know, if, if they don't want to bring on those people, then that's the way it's going to be. We've seen multiple live events stream on Peacock. They've had college football games, their live PD stream or whatever it's called now, On Patrol Live on Reels, and WWE shows all take place at the same time through that portal, have had no problems whatsoever. 
I don't know why it's taking so long for WBD to sort some things out, but look at the state of WBD right now, and that probably will tell you a lot of the reason why the technology and their things have not advanced as fast as they've wanted them to, or as a lot of people out there want them to. Spurs says, Max has infrastructure built now. It's work for baseball and soccer. So there's soccer pay-per-views? You sign up for a pay-per-view to buy one soccer game on Max? Dominic Jimenez. Come on, I, I was unaware of that. Now, if, you're talking, if you're talking them airing live, yes, that's different than a pay-per-view. A, hey, I'm going to sign up and buy a pay-per-view. They don't have the infrastructure for that yet. They can run a live show. They could run all in, but it would be free for everybody on Max. They don't have the ability for you to buy it as a standalone pay-per-view. That's what they're working on. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.